Uh, Jackie Doyle Price. Madam Deputy Speaker, uh, I'll be very brief this morning, but I couldn't let uh, this legislation pass without passing comment, particularly uh, as the Honourable Lady has just referred to in the week that we've seen the Casey Review, uh, which actually, again, reminds, uh, reminds all of us just how everyday and experienced sexual harassment is for so many women and girls. And I'm really grateful to my right honourable friend for, for the, the fact that he's taken up this cause, because you know, in the 13 years I've been here, you know, we've talked a lot about these things, we've talked a lot about violence against women and girls, but it hasn't got much beyond words when it actually comes to concrete action. There's been much resistance to this measure uh, because of the, pre you know, the additional pressures it might bring to the police. And in resisting this measure, this place was sending a message out to women and girls that this was their lot. Uh, it was normalising that behaviour. And what the case review actually shows is that in normalising that behaviour in society, we give a green light to that behaviour within our police services, who are exactly the people who should be keeping us safe. So this legislation, for me, marks a real turning point, and it makes, marks a real turning point that, that actually, at last, we are sending a message that actually, no, we are not going to put up with this. You know, this is not acceptable behaviour. It should not be acceptable behaviour for anyone to be experiencing harassment. And nobody should think that they can get away with it. Nobody should be abusing their power and you know, making people feel uncomfortable and distressed just because they can. So I am hugely grateful uh, to my right honourable friend for this piece of legislation. Really grateful that the government have embraced this and, and give it support. I think it's a real, it's a, it's a rare moment of unity when we're all on the same side on this. And, uh, you know, for, for women, I think, I hope that this marks just the beginning of many more measures that really give us the opportunity to enjoy participating in society without having to put up with this intimidation day in, day out.